Hi, I'm Hannah, and this is In Case You Missed It. The JMU Convocation Center recently hosted its final event. After 38 memorable years hosting games, concerts, and commencements, the memories inside the convo are countless. The building, completed in 1982, was the first to be constructed across Interstate 81 from the original campus. The convo has been the longtime home to JMU men's and women's basketball. On senior day, JMU women's basketball closed the Convocation Center with a comeback victory against Delaware. The Dukes rallied to send the building out on a final winning note. Following the win, there was a special post-game countdown for the fans to close out the last game at the Convo with one final streamer toss. It was the perfect way to end the last regular season game at the Convo. Longtime radio play-by-play -play voice of JMU women's basketball, David Taylor, reminisced about the significance of the Convo in JMU's history and all the great moments we saw there over the years. Right here is a whole lot of memories for me. This is, this is where I sat to broadcast JMU women's basketball for, well, for 35 years in this facility. There are hundreds of thousands of people who have had some experience here at the JMU Convocation Center, and those memories are the things that really make this facility amazing. You know, the move to the Atlantic Union Bank Center is going to be remarkable. It, that is going to be a state-of-the-art facility. The, the fan experience is going to be remarkable. The student-athlete experience is going to be amazing. It's going to be a community gathering place. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I'll be, you know, a fan and also a supporter of the uh, Unleashed campaign that's helping to make this uh, new facility a, a, a reality and uh, there are going to be many, many more memories made in the Atlantic Union Bank Center. We're really looking forward to it. Basketball Hall of Famers, including David Robinson, Ralph Sampson, and Lefty Giselle, played and coached in the combo. But the arena is more than just a hoop haven. Musical artists like Ludacris, Third Eyed Blind, and Jason Derulo played concerts there. Now it's time for a new era to begin with the opening of the Atlantic Union Bank Center later in 2020. Well, that's a wrap at the convo. I'm Hannah, and this is In Case You Missed It.